Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks so much for joining me today. Today I have a, a card using some visible image products, kind of a Valentine ish <laughs> themed card, I guess you could say. I'm going to start out with a piece of white cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half, and I am going to use this visible image stencil called Dark Hearts. And I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a scratch piece of paper because I'm going to be using some glitter today. Um, you definitely don't have to use glitter, but um, I was going through all of my glitter paste today and a lot of them are unusable and I'm going to try and revive them. But um, this is an alternative if you either don't want to buy all the glitter paste or um, yours are like mine and um, have dried up. Um, I'm just taking some glue and so I am using uh, the glue that I like to use with glitter which is the Cosmic Shimmer um, a Flake and Glitter Glue and I'm using a spreader tool. This is actually a cake spreader but um, anything that's got kind of a flat side that you could spread the material through the stencil and we're going to go ahead and add the glitter and I am again using a <laughs> Creative Expressions product. Uh, this is the Cosmic Shimmer. I believe they're shimmer shakers. Um, they are glitters, um, but I don't know that they're available any longer, but they have these really cool containers that are like salt and pepper shakers. They've got like little holes on the top, um, but I'm just taking the glitter and I've different, a few different colors and spreading that across the glue. And once I have that done, I'll go ahead and pick that piece up and try and get rid of all of the excess. And then I made a little bit of a mistake here. Um, some had some of the glue had not gotten glitter on it and so what I ended up doing was kind of smooshing it into the glitter that is on my scratch paper and a little bit of the glitter in different areas smeared and so don't do that um, but this was really super easy cleanup I wasn't planning on keeping any of that glitter um, and so I just took my paper and kind of uh, folded it up so the glitter stayed all in there and then I just took a baby wipe and wiped my mat off and it was super easy cleanup for the glue. I do want to mention though after using this of course uh, this, the um, the stencil went right into a container of water just so that that uh, glue didn't get permanently stuck on there. Um, but the kind of focal point for this card is going to be this typewriter. Uh, this is from the set from Visible Image called One Kind Word. And I went ahead and I used some black ink and clear embossing powder and then fussy cut that out and then I typed or not typed and then I uh, added the sentiment to that and then I went ahead and I trimmed my panel down to three and three quarters by five and I am uh, adding that to a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of black cardstock and then the typewriter I will go ahead and uh, add a few pieces of foam to the back of that and add that as well and then I had some um, paper that I had done some alcohol ink stuff on that was kind of like in my discard pile that I like to keep around for little things um, you know when I'm putting together other cards and I went ahead and I found a piece of that that I had done some alcohol ink stuff on and uh, used a heart die from my stash and adhered that and that is this card I did let this dry for quite a bit and came back to it it was still a little bit tacky so it does need a little bit of time to dry just like the paste would um, but that's going to be it for my card for today I hope you enjoyed if you did like this video or find it informative I would love it if you would give a thumbs up um, as always I thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I hope to see you next time